Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my 100% walkthrough of Fallout 4. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am, and today we're going to be finishing up a couple of side quests, including going to Adam Spring drinking from that that way we can enter the nucleus whenever we want to but before we do any of that make sure that you have at least two pieces of raw meat it cannot be cooked it's got to be raw meat whether it's raw wolf meat or raw mirelurk meat it's got to be some kind of meat all right now that that's all been said let's go ahead and get started we're going to start by coming out here following this around now we could have come into the nucleus this way but I prefer to go the other way to kind of show the interaction a little better with both of the um, children of Adam hop up here head north down this road going to follow this down for quite a ways. Here's where we're going to take a left. Oh god. An alpha death claw. Whatever am I going to do? Actually, that was terrifying. Did not expect that to be popping out of nowhere. Jesus. That was intense. A uh, bunch of landmines. Be careful for that. They're not always there. That's just a random event. Okay, over there, there's a hermit crab. If you want to kill it, you can. I'm going to follow the road down to the southwest here. gonna hang a right down here so if you don't have any mirelurk meat or any kind of raw meat at all right here is a good spot to be able to get it someone's coming so we can pick up some mirelurk meat including these carapaces we're gonna need these for a quest for the mariner We're almost to our destination. Do that real quick. And then right here is Dottie. <coughs> so the doc asked me to witness. So I'm witnessing. Come over here. And right here is where we're going to go into our pit boy and we're going to drop some food in the water. So we'll drop some bloat fly meat in. I said food, I meant raw meat. You're in for it now. What's that? Oh. 
Coast looks clear. I'm gonna grab the carapaces. Okay, we got all the carapaces we need. Let's go ahead and drop some more meat into the water. Make sure it's not like grilled hermit crab or something. I don't think we're. Look who it is. Didn't even... What's that? <coughs> Won't underestimate us again. Got a Meyer Alert Queen right here. Now you got problems. I won't be bothering anybody now. Pretty easy. Now, everybody may have that trophy already. It's just for killing really big creatures. Dottie's going to run off and go back to Far Harbor. We're going to head east. You head straight east here. It'll lead us right back up to the road that we veered off of to get over here to. We're going to backtrack just a little bit. We're going to hang a right over here. This is Echo Lake Lumber Yard. You trying to get someone killed? Nope. Just trying to kill some ghouls. They're here somewhere. Anyone you walk away from. No, Nick. I don't walk away from anybody that's trying to kill me. Let's go ahead and lockpick this door. Got it. Someone's coming. <clears throat> Where did you come from? Thought I killed everybody down there. Yeah, that's one way to get that cool and pumping. There's another one upstairs. We're going to come into this chest right here, grab ourselves the harvester. This is actually a really good ripper for anybody d using a melee build. It has a chance to stagger on hit. Let's go in this terminal. We're going to eject the hollow tape, Levi's hollow tape. And then we'll go over to miscellaneous, go down to the L's. And we'll listen to Levi's hollow tape. Jimmy, if you don't keep that little twerp Bentley out of my face, I swear to God, I'm gonna throw this fucking terminal through the wall. He saw me coming across the log rolling course before work and starts asking why I was out there at five in the morning. If you want to keep those extra profits rolling in, you better keep him in line. We're going to head over here behind the lumber yard and go over by the dock. This is going to lead us over by Adam's Spring where we can drink from it.
Let's go ahead and follow the mother of the fog. There's going to be quite a few ghouls over here, so let's take care of them first. Something out. Yes, we're not alone. I don't... Not exactly subtle, pal. Clean house. There's something out there. There. Couple more ghouls over here. Just sleeping. So long, pal. Yes, we're not alone. You say the word, I'll take a crack at that terminal for you. Needs a password. Must be some clue around here. We look off to the left right here, we can see the scrawled text. M O T H E R. Mother? Could that be the password? Come over here and we'll read this stuff. Doesn't really say much. If you want to read it, you can. There we go. Okay, now we're going to come out here. We're going to hang a left down this road. And for those of you that are into wrestling and know who the Hardy Boys are, you will get the reference in these hollow tapes we're going to be listening to in just a second. Hey, you mind keeping an eye out for a second? I'm diagnostic. Whew. Thanks. What did I miss? There's a ton of Meyer lurks over here, so be careful. Yeah, whatever it was, it's gone now. Somewhere over there. I don't know where it is. We'll kill it if it comes over here. Also, just a heads up, there's a ton of ballistic fiber over here, so if you need it, this is a great place to get it. Let's go ahead and listen to the hollow tape. Got him. Hello? Luke. Is this thing on? Yeah, boy. 
We're rolling. All right. Now get back to work. I can take it from here. This here is Gray Husky. Meet up. The Husky family. Right below the of the land previously known as Haddock Cove. He's here to take some mine. We've torn enough scrap wood and metal from the nearby houses to build an outpost on the water. Really make a go of it here. We built this thing big and tall enough. We'll be able to see pests coming from a good distance off. No one will be able to catch us with our pants down. Bray Husky, sign it off. Shit, Luke. How the hell do you turn this thing off? There's a million buttons on this stupid thing. Screw it, I'm just gonna unplug it.
poor guys. And sorry, I did not mean to cut that other hollow tape short. Grab some lure weed. And then we're going to head east for just a moment here. So we get to this. And then we're going to head southeast. Follow the road around. Be careful, you're very likely to run into some anglers over here. So just keep your eyes peeled. I don't think we're alone enough. Coast looks clear. Continue heading southeast down the road. If you want to explore and loot Fringe Cove docks, feel free. We're going to bypass it. Looks like we got a fog crawler off in the distance. Yeah, I I Let's go ahead and kill it. See if we can't cripple it. It's the easiest way to deal with a fog crawler. Again. Just cripple it and then take your time killing it. Gonna be coming up to fight a ton of trappers, so be ready or careful, one of the two. Inside, go up the stairs. Now we can continue forward. We'll hop down. Now what I like to do, because if you have an explosive weapon, I bring out a non-explosive weapon. We're going to be grabbing an Islander's Almanac up top. And a lot of times if you have an explosive weapon, it'll fly off and you won't be able to find it. If you do, you're very lucky. And I salute you. <laughs> this is Douglas. We're going to grab the mysterious hollow tape from him. And that'll complete Casey Dalton's quest. Grab there the we go. Douglas key. 
And then right over here, we have a Islander's Almanac. There we go. We can pull our combat rifle back out. That just talks about a chest that he threw in the water. Got some more trappers down here. <laughs> Nothing we can't handle. <laughs> and if I see 95% of my crew get killed by one person, I would be running for my life. I don't think I would be messing with that person. Just saying. We're going to go in the water and go straight here. And we'll see the chest. Go ahead and loot it real quick. Then we can turn around and head out. In this shed is some power armor. So if you want some power armor, well, it's a frame for me, but it may have some pieces on it for you. I'm not sure. If you want it, scoop it up. We're going to backtrack down the hill here. We're going to go and get our last Islander's Almanac. We're going to be fighting more trappers along with some mire lurks over here. But before we do, let's go ahead and go in this shed. Just be careful to take out this tension trigger trap. And then we can grab ourselves a fusion core. What's that? I would focus on the trappers first and then worry about the Mire Lurks because a Mire Lurk Queen is going to spawn as soon as you kill all the Meyer lurks. I for it. Yes, let the blood flow. Of course, as soon as I reload, I feel like the trappers are like kind of ghouls. Like they're not really ghoul-like, but they have some similarities to ghouls. Like being cannibals and stuff. Where is that other trapper? I know he was up here or around here somewhere. I don't think we're alone. Oh, no shit. Nick, you don't think that we're alone? There's another hunter. And another one. Now we have a Myrler Queen to deal with. What I like to do is come over here, press this button. Take care of the trappers across the way. That's why I love explosive weapons. Makes things so much easier. Where is this other trapper? I hope you were smarter than this. 
just settlement stuff uh, that I'm failing. Don't worry about any of that. Like I said, I'm not going to focus on settlement building stuff. Just sanctuary the castle. And um, yeah, that's it. Take out that turret. And then we're going to go inside here. Again, we're going to bring out a non-explosive weapon. If you have one, just go ahead and put it away for a moment. That way we can kill these trappers without sending the Islanders Almanac flying. Go ahead and heal real quick. Jeez, heal again. They're messing me up. Can you stop moving so I can kill you, sir? Thank you. And then right here is our last Islander's Almanac. Excellent. It's going to allow us to take 5% less damage to uh, from Mirelurk's melee attacks. Put our explosive weapon back on. And you can loot all in here if you want to. There's a ton of loot. I usually do loot whenever I come through here. But for the sake of time, I'm not going to. After this, what say we find a place with a nice fire? Throw these clothes in. We're going to come around here and go up the quarry where that sign is, is where we're heading. I like to head straight north from the sign. It's just a good landmark. You can see the house that we're going to be going by. We're going to have some trappers. Totally up to you on um, killing them or not. I'm not going to bother too much. The reason I was saying that trappers are like ghouls, by the way, um, let's take a right here. Uh, but why I was saying trappers are like ghouls is because they make sounds like ghouls. And maybe it's just something that they do to scare people. But I feel like they're either turning into ghouls or have some kind of aspect of ghoulification. We're going to keep heading north down this road. If you want to explore up there, you can. The Vimpop factory that we just passed, we're going to be exploring that a little later into the walkthrough. That's why I passed it up. Got two super mutants over here. What is that? Huh? What's that? Took the one out with the minigun. Oh. Let's go ahead and level up. We're going to put our last point into not medic, <laughs> endurance. I forgot that we did not level up, or that we did level up Medic all the way. Good lord, words, am I right? We're going to hang a right here. Let 
You just follow this around. Actually, if you look off to the right, you can see the Vim Pop factory over there. Just keep coming down this way. Follow the embankment. And then we are back at the Nucleus. Now we're not going to be going into the Nucleus. We're just turning in this quest. And then we're going to go over to Far Harbor and turn in the rest of those quests over there and start a couple more. That way in the next episode we can focus on the Nucleus after finishing up Far Harbor. You're back. More than I expected. Did Adam reveal something to you? I drank from the spring, and a woman led me to this icon. Does this mean something? A woman? Led you to that icon? What woman? What did you see? It was <laughs> otherworldly. The woman, she was like a living shadow, cloaked in mist. Adam above. You really did see her. The Mother of the Fog. The Mother is a messenger from Adam. Acts as a guide to those important to his plans and the future of this family. She's the one who led the first of us to this place. And if she revealed herself to you, then I'd say the path he's laying for you is clear. If you are prepared to take the next step, then I believe there is a place for you among Adam's children. I am ready to follow his path. Then it will be so. I'm not sure this is such a good idea. We barely know these people. Head inside and present the icon to the High Confessor once his sermon is done. He'll be interested to see that. Once you've spoken with him, you should come see me. Have a task I think you'd be useful for. And here, some more appropriate attire. But know this. We are all devoted servants to Adam here. Messenger or no, actions against the family will not be tolerated. Welcome, brother. Let's go ahead and go to our map, and we are going to go over to Far Harbor. Only Alan's got enough backbone to stand up to the children. Cutting carapaces is a dirty job. The pay will be worth it. I got your Meyerler carapaces. Finally, it's done. Everything that can be welded, duct taped, or super glued to the damn docks, all there. Feels like I can finally sit a spell and relax. <sighs> Take this. It's well earned. Enjoy the break, Mariner. I wonder how long before some sad sap gets a splinter in their wee toe and it's up to me to fix it. Take care, Mainlander. Everyone, everyone, times are hard, but this here feast is proof that we can turn things around. Now I know mainlanders have been responsible for all manner of harm, but this one is special. This one did the captain's dance. It's true. I saw it. So in my book, he's not a mainlander anymore. He's one of us. Yeah! Mainlander. Ha <laughs> ha. If Captain's these knuckleheads dance. don't trust you now, wow. well, fuck them, right? I expect folk will be more talkative now. Might even have some more work for you. Maybe hit up Mitch at the last plank. Seriously. Thanks, Teddy. You are the most peculiar main person I've ever had the occasion to meet. Take this. And if you're inclined, socialize. It's your party after all. This is actually a pretty decent hat. It'll increase the wearer's movement speed by 10%. I may put it on. I'm not sure yet. Hey, Doc. Your patient, the Andre. Captain's dance. He's walking around. Wow. If I'm not too careful, 
There's gonna be two doctors in the harbor. <laughs> no problems here. Fuck you. Let's go Here's finish up you. Cassie Dalton's Captain's quest. Dance. What kind of person just shoots a man for sport? All those trappers can burn in hell. That trapper who killed your husband is dead. Then it's done. It's finally done. All those lives that were lost, all those debts finally repaid. And it was no son or daughter of Far Harbor who stood up to the island and avenged the Dalton bloodline. It was you, an outsider, a mainlander. The final chapter's been written. The story has come to an end. This is a day I never thought I'd live to see. Thank you. I was glad to help. I hope I've put your mind at ease. You certainly have. Now every good story's gotta have a happy ending, right? The hero finds the treasure, saves the sweetheart, and rides off into the sunset. Well, I'm a little old to leap up on a horse. But I have got something close to a treasure. This is an heirloom that's been in my family for... Ah, oh, let me think. Oh, for at least a generation or two. There's no Daltons left to inherit the thing. So it might as well pass on to you. The island knows this weapon. Oh, yes. You carry this, and it'll take you seriously. And that's it. That's the end. I can sleep easy now. Knowing there won't be any unfinished business when they put me in the ground. Off you go now. My story's over, but yours... I think yours is only just getting interesting. The blood letter's not a bad weapon. It's got bleed damage. Let's talk to small Bertha. Hey, pal. Mister, I have to talk to you. I got 14 and a half caps. I want to hire you. I may be able to help, but I don't want your caps. They're right about you, what they say. But if you help, you'll get paid. Harbormen don't belong on this dock. If we keep clinging here, we'll bleed out and die. To get better, to grow stronger, we need land. Echo Lake Lumber Mill has power lines that connect to the old wind farm. If you clear the land, harbormen can wire up the condensers. Make it safe from the fog. That's a surprisingly grown-up request. The fog's out to kill us all. Kids included. I know the money's a joke. But if my friends can resettle, I'm sure they'd do anything for you. And oh, you big. Please. Help. Let's go inside the last plank. If you need a room, see Mitch. Everyone, make way. Did you really kill the queen? The mariner said you did. Don't pester him, Debbie. Of course he did. Now this is what a badass looks like. I fear we had you all wrong. Well, Captain Avery didn't. Right. Holier than thou Avery got the right of it. And thanks for reminding me. Here's a round on the house. Ooh, thanks. Least I can do. Mitch, I mean, since he did the captain's dance, maybe your uncle? That's my own family business. Sir, Mitch is too damn proud, but we're worried about Uncle Ken. If my family was in trouble, I'd do anything to help them. You hear that, Mitch? Even someone like him would ask for help. Uncle Ken's the last one still living on the island. The last holdout. Crazier than a bag full of starved mole rats, he is. Mitch sent him some of the fog condensers? So he might still be alive. He's safe from the fog. But the campground's got to be swarming with God knows what. Listen, it shames me to ask it. Oh, but he is my kin. Could you check up on him? And find some way to drag his hide back here? I'll pay, of course. I'll look for your uncle. His homestead's the old visitor center, inland. And 
Look out, he loves his traps. Let's exit the last plank. I, for one, won't go down. Harbor's safe as it's going to get. You ever get a gnawing in your belly to do something crazy? But reason and sense keep steering you clear? The craziest ideas are usually the best. <laughs> Fortune favors the bold and the unbalanced, right? You're the only mainlander I'd ever tell of this. So hear me out. The Red Death. May have heard of it. The big monster lives beneath the waves. Only strikes when the fog is thick. People think it's some drunken sailor's tale, but no one goes sailing when there's a fog on. In their bones, they know there's something out there. For whatever it's worth, I believe you. <sighs> Thank you. With my business here done, and knowing someone like yourself, I seek to end this unholy terror. Dozens of boats over the long years been claimed by it. I mean to hunt this Red Death. Are you with me? Count me in. Bring whatever weapons of death and mass destruction you got. Meet by the docks. You take your boat, I'll take mine. This trip is going to test our metal more than anything. Alrighty, everyone. This is where we're going to end the video. I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. It really does mean the world to me. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or good night. Whatever time it may be in your part of the world, Mr. John Wayne, signing off.